My name is Jose Aranda, and I work at the DACC Library. And this summer, we are presenting on a series of Zoom meetings on various library resources. This is our third one, and what I'm going to talk to you about are our subscriptions to online video platforms. Um, you should be seeing uh, a start page on my PowerPoint. For some of the other resources, I have gone and done a live demonstration. But for this one, I will not be doing that. So I will strictly be sticking to the PowerPoint. In the PowerPoint, I have lots of pictures and screenshots of the resources that I'm going to talk to you about. If after the presentation you wish to have uh, a continuation of this conversation or a one-on-one -on -one, uh, discussion or if you need more assistance on these, I'd be more than glad to help you do that over the telephone, be another Zoom meeting, whichever way you'd like. Uh, but the reason why I'm not going live are uh, for technical reasons. It slows down uh, my bandwidth connection and uh, just delays uh, the presentation in general. We try to keep these short. Uh, we know you're all busy and have other things to do. So we uh, appreciate you being here. If you have any questions, please chat. My colleague Susan Bontley is online to help us do that. And um, we will get started. Oh, at the end of the presentation, if you have any questions that I did not entertain uh, during the presentation, uh, we can entertain those at that point as well. So this one's on online videos. So the online videos you access through our homepage. This is a picture of the Doniana Community College Library's homepage. The URL is up at top. And um, we're constantly updating and adding new information to this website. So if uh, it looks different, that's the reason why. And I invite you to come back frequently uh, to see all the other exciting news that we may be sharing with you. Um, to access the online videos, if you see here in the middle, right below the blue bar where it says all services are being provided, underneath those are some tabs. <clears throat> so the online video would be the fifth tab. And um, to access what I'm about to show you, you would click on the online videos tab. And you should see this page. We have three right now subscription-based products for you that provide online videos for you to use for your classes uh, or other areas of your life. They are Academic Video Online, the first one, Canopy, which is the middle one, and Medcom, the third one. Underneath there, you see our brief descriptions of what they each are, but of course, in this presentation, I will elaborate on that for you. So to access online videos, once again, you go to the library's homepage and you click on the online videos tab, and then you have this option to then select which one of the three you wish to enter. So I will go in order as you, as you see them uh, from left to right, starting with academic video online. So most of us are from home or away from campus. When you do click on one of these sources, you will get, or you should get, this page. If it looks familiar, then you know what it is, right? It's an authentication uh, from the NMSU system that we then enter our credentials to validate ourselves and uh, then proceed accessing the resources. So if you are not aware of this website or page, then you simply put in your My NMSU username 
on the top box and then the password underneath it to access. It's the same credentials you use to access my NMSU and lots of other resources that we use uh, here at DACC and at NMSU. So this is the validation page. You should only have to do this once per session. And what I mean by that is if you uh, close the tab or close the browser altogether, uh, chances are if you want to, if you're going to revisit the online videos uh, resources again, you're going to have to authenticate as well. Um, so for some of you, you may choose to uh, have your browser memorize uh, your passwords and entries, stuff like that, and that will just make it easier. But just know that this is uh, how the system authenticates its users. This is, these are subscriptions resources that the library pays for, so therefore only DACC students, faculty, and staff should be getting access to that. We do have some, exempt, some exemptions for the public that we deal with on an individual basis. So the first one up is Academic Online Video. This is their homepage. I'm sorry, Academic Video Online. This is their homepage. Uh, their parent company is Alexander Street. So if you used uh, that before, this may look different to you. Um, the format here, as you're seeing, is, is, is what I kept seeing throughout the last several days when I went to their homepage. Uh, but the next series of screenshots that I'm gonna share with you are gonna show the various parts of this website and all the intricacies that are probably gonna be uh, important for you to know as you navigate and use this resource. But um, actually, I don't remember how academic or how Alexander Street used to look like but this now has a more modern feel, uh, very typical of, of, of many of the other uh, video platforms that we're commonly seeing now today, in, both in the market and in academia. Um, so, for all these resources, you're going to have to create an account. Um, having an account doesn't cost you money. You simply uh, provide the information that uh, they are asking you. Uh, in this case, you know, your name, email, and creating a password. Um, what that does is it keeps track of the videos and resources you use and updates you with progress. And uh, once you create an account, you then you sign in. So here on this screen, you have, I have two pictures here. The, one on the left is how it would look when you are signing up for the first time. And then the one on the right, the little small red, or red one is the one you would use to sign in once you already have that account. And just to verify, once you've successfully, successfully logged in, up at the right corner, there's a little icon there of a person, if you click on that, you should get a window that's very similar to the one I'm showing you here. This would be indicate that you have successfully logged in, welcome you with your name. And underneath it, the affiliation of uh, Doniana Community College. So Academic Video Online um, has lots of videos. Lots and lots of videos. And you can start browsing it simply by typing in the search box, which you, could, you should see on the right uh, upper corner, typing in terms that you're interested in finding out. So here in this screen shot is an example of a current search for videos on COVID-19. So, in the middle of the screen, just below the title, uh, it tells us how many videos showed up using that search. And then underneath it uh, gives us uh, icons of each of the videos listed underneath that.
when you enter an actual video, I tried my best to give you uh, a picture of what that would look like. This one in particular is uh, on psychology, I believe. But there are lots of options for you to select while the video is playing. So if you see up uh, on top, the full screen is highlighted. So that's, I believe, the default. But you have the other options right to, uh, to the right of those to select as well. Lots of stuff going on here. Uh, common tools are located at the bottom right corner, you know, um, closed caption, settings, expand to full screen, uh, those types of thing, those types, types of things. You have the pause, forward, rewind buttons in the middle. On the left, you have the volume um, function. Right above that, you see the play bar that tells you how far along the video has played. Right above that, you see the title. On the right-hand side, you have a cite this video. I will show you a screenshot of what, how that looks and how that works. Right next to that, you have a search transcript. These videos come with a transcript. So it gives you that ability to search that as well. So a lot of things going on as you're playing the video. And once you uh, become accustomed or familiar with uh, what it is you want to accomplish, then you can uh, hide some of these or default or put, arrange your settings uh, to suit your needs. So I just wanted to give you a general picture of what it would look like as you play the video. Academic on, uh, Videos Online gives you um, the option to search the video in increments of clips. And it breaks those down for you quite nicely when you select the clips option up on top. I tried to give you as much as I could in the screenshot here. To the right then panel would list the individual um, clips um, as they are categorized and organized by the vendor and the video. And they give you uh, a little title and how long or the length of each clip. So uh, this could help you uh, if you were gonna plan to show, it, or if you wanna uh, show something to a class, for example, but you do not wanna show the entire video because it's too long, what have you. You could then look at the clips and look at which ones at that point you would be uh, willing to share for your class. So I think that is a very nice feature uh, in this uh, platform. So these are the clips. Uh, this, is, this is the clips feature. You can also share the video. So uh, I have a couple uh, uh, of options there at the bottom. You could copy the permalink or embed a code, especially if uh, you're going to use this in Canvas. Uh, there are more than one. There is more than one way to do that. So uh, I invite you to speak to our VLight department, our virtual learning uh, department that uh, trains users on Canvas, as to which way would be the best to include something like this in a Canvas course, depending on what the objectives are and you know, there's a lot of details to consider. So just know that embedding the video is, is uh, quite easy following either one of these options. Uh, of course, uh, to the right of that has the social media options as well, which is very common. Um, all right, so that is sharing of the video. There's the transcript option. Uh, by selecting the transcript as the video plays, on the right-hand side panel will appear the transcript and uh, uh, will follow along wherever the video is. Uh, it's synchronized is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so you, sh you should be able to read it as the video is playing. Uh, so here's an example with timestamps. And uh, again, as I've mentioned earlier, 
you can search the transcript. So for example, let's say you're trying to just find information on a certain topic or category. You do not want to show the entire video to your class. You can then search the transcripts for keywords that you're interested in finding information on and then get right to it uh, if they appear. So this is a nice uh, feature, I believe. There's a citing uh, option. Many of our library resources are now having these. They are becoming a common feature. Uh, you know, we want our students to uh, cite their sources many times in their assignments. And so watching a video should be no different. We need to give credit uh, for the makers and producers and, and uh, copyright owners of uh, this video. So uh, they nicely provide you here uh, with a simple um, selection of whatever citation style you're interested in. In this case, I selected APA, very common, uh, at Doña Ana Community College, and then it gives you uh, the citation there that you can simply either cut and paste, copy and paste, or embed using some of the other more sophisticated software there, such as RefWorks. So this is a neat feature, I think, as well. In this platform specifically, you can use some other features, I'm sorry, some other filters. Uh, perhaps you may have typed in some keywords or terms that brought too many results. So you can use some of these filters to narrow down your search. Uh, so these are just some uh, of those filters that you could use to, to do that. Um, also, they can help you in uh, determining uh, more specific, more specific uh, topics, subtopics, uh, things you may be considering to include in a unit or in your class overall. Things like these filters can help brainstorm new ideas as well. Another feature by um, this vendor are the channels. <clears throat> so if you type in something they will give you results based on that search, but there are also channels devoted to certain categories. So here's a picture of some of those categories. And in the channels, they then would branch out the various cat uh, videos associated with that channel. So you can uh, follow a certain channel in your settings once you create an account and log in, and you can receive updates on new uh, material, new videos that uh, have been associated or linked to that specific channel, if you wish. So that is another option available. And this is an example of an American history channel. Underneath it, pay attention to the related channels. Up on top, you see the um, over 12,000 videos in this channel. And uh, just a, a couple of uh, icons there of, of some of the movies uh, highlighted in the homepage at that time. So that was Academic uh, Video Online. Our second product is Canopy. We've had Canopy now for several years, um, very popular. Uh, excellent uh, platform of online videos. They specialize in documentaries, foreign films, independent films, and some popular films. Um, we've had subscription now to this, uh, like I said, for, for a couple of years. Uh, this is the homepage. Again, you would have to start on the library's homepage, click on the online videos tab, and then select Canopy. When you do so, you should see something similar to this homepage that I took a picture of making sure that the affiliation is appropriate uh, with the ACC. You would then log in or create an account and then log in. And once you do that successfully, uh, this is a picture of the homepage. Like many of the vendors now, uh, the selection and the specific videos they are highlighting are constantly changing. So uh, 
This is just the homepage that I saw at the time that I took the picture of the screen. So they're constantly rotating like many, many web sources nowadays do so. Um, my name listed right up on top, uh, verifying that I have successfully logged in. Again, like the academic videos online, you can type in keywords in a search box or you can browse categories, uh, subject headings. And once you reach a video, this is what you're gonna look, uh, this is what it's gonna look like. So you have the video showcasing there on the main part of the screen towards the left. You have the title underneath it with various options. Um, you can create a list where if you don't want to watch the video at that time, but you may want to later, you can add it to list and keep track of, of a collection that way. Um, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of um, in, things you can do inside of Canopy uh, that you can set up uh, that I'm not going to show you today in the video. Uh, I didn't want, like I said, uh, Considering the time constraints, I just didn't have uh, enough time to cover all the aspects. So please, if you're interested in knowing more, get a hold of us. We'd be more than uh, glad to talk to you about those individually. So I'm just highlighting some of the more main features. Uh, so short of playing the play button there in the middle, on the right hand side, you see a list of a lot of related videos that can relate. Again, uh, I think could serve as uh, helpful towards brainstorming. As well as the other vendor, you wouldn't have to, if you didn't want to play the entire video, you can create clips and store those and embed those at just as well. Underneath it, I, get in, I couldn't take a picture of the entire screen that I wanted to share, but underneath what I just showed you previously in the sides are the details. So they tell you what year this video was produced, how long is it, uh, and some of the other features there, as you can see. Um, there's a star rating system as well. A lot of the users uh, could provide those as well. There's a share button uh, that I didn't mention earlier that is very common too. And underneath it are, again, kind of like the related videos panel of the screen previous to this of other uh, related videos that other people have watched uh, after having watched this one. So it kind of gives you uh, a, con a context of what other people relevant to that specific video have seen or are related in some fashion. And the last source that I'm gonna talk to you about is MedCom. A MedCom is a medical, nursing, science-based uh, platform. Uh, it is not as big or it does not have as many videos as the previous two that I just demonstrated to you. These are mostly geared towards our health and science students. Like all the other uh, platforms, you need to create an account. So this is the sign up page. And once you do, you will see a list of courses uh, and each course then has uh, specific videos uh, associated with that that you could then click and view. So these videos are very academic. They are very specific towards, um, like I said, health, science, nursing, things, content that would be covered in, in a lot of our classes and programs. And when you get to one, this is an example of what it would look like. It is not, uh, it doesn't go straight into the video like the other two. It would, it gives you an outline of, of what you're about to learn, uh, what the objectives are, and it goes step by step. You see here at the bottom right hand corner are the red arrows that you would then click on. And soon after you get started, the video would start. So in summary, uh, these are, I hope I uh, successfully uh, described to you the three platform subscription-based platforms that we subscribe to that provide online videos for you to use. 
in your classes or in elsewhere in your lives. Um, remember, when you want to access these, to start at the library's homepage. Remember to authenticate using your NMSU credentials. And it is highly suggested, if not required, for you to create an account. So keep track of these details. And then once you uh, start using one of these through experience or through um, contacting us, for instance, uh, our hope is that your experience will be, become much more pleasant and easier to use, especially to locate things that you are specifically interested for your classes and or work or personal life, any of those. Are there any questions? Okay, I don't think there are. Uh, yes, scared. there is. Oh, there is. Jose, um, and this is a question, Tim, we will have to get back to you. As far as I know right now, but Becky, you might be able to answer this. Um, does academic video online charge per view like Canopy? Okay, not, Becky says not as far as she knows. And that's what I thought it was too. But um, Becky works with the individual um, providers and she would know better. Um, yes, Canopy is definitely is a pay-per-view um, to our library account. Um, that's really not something I think that um, instructors need to worry about. Um, if it does become an issue, we will be um, reaching out to individual instructors. So view, we would recommend you use the first one um, more than Canopy, just because we think that there's a, um, well, they, they cross over in a lot of areas, but they also um, have um, very separate um, uh, focuses at times. So uh, you might find um, more um, science oriented um, on the, um, on the first one, uh, the academic video online, you may find more independent um, uh, on Canopy. So depending on what you need, um, I would take a time to look through all the selections and then if you're looking for personal use, obviously, whichever works best for you, but if you're looking for classroom use, um, use whichever one works the best for your um, students and your uh, content. I hope that answered your question, Tim. Yeah, and if there's ever any issue or problem or further questions, let us know. Um, you know, most of us don't use it as much as uh, maybe some instructors or other users, so we need to have that feedback, that communication. Um, I know I was having some issues last week accessing one of these, and um, we got it resolved. But uh, what I'm trying to say is we're not on we're not all on these every day, so. If you are and you experience something, let us know. I also wanted to mention something that I actually wanted to include in the slide, but I just remember that I didn't. And that is, we all know you're busy and you may think, well, you know, here's another thing I gotta learn. I don't have time. That's fine. You can, through our library homepage, send a request to uh, request assistance. Let us know who you are, what your objectives are. You're trying to find video, for example, in this case, for a specific class or for these topics. You don't have time to search, can we help you? And we'd be more than glad to do the search for you. We go through these uh, platforms, uh, keep track of the results, and then report back to you uh, what those results are, and then you can then decide so we can work together on this if you want. If you, if you don't want to take the time to learn and browse and search on your, on your own, uh, let us help you do that. If there are no more questions, I thank you for joining us. Not next week, but the week after that, July 9, join us for Mango Languages. It is a foreign language software that we have for you to use and learn 
whichever foreign language you wish, and you can share among your family and friends. Join us on July 9th, two weeks from today, to learn more about Mango languages. Once again, thank you for joining us. This was recorded, so if you know of anyone that uh, wished to join us and couldn't make it, or for any future uh, reference, these will be kept uh, on file and made available on our website for you to use. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.